Next up, Bitcoin decouples from legacy markets as breathtaking rally predicted. This is all about Kraken. So there was a report by Kraken which identified signs the correlation between Bitcoin and the dollar and legacy markets is continuing to weaken. The report attributes Bitcoin's dollar divergence to the U.S. Federal Reserve's plan to maintain 0% interest rates until at least 2023. And that's the thing. Essentially, the Fed pretty much just threw up its hands and said, you know what, we're going to print so much money. Uh, we're not going to have any kind of growth. So to uh, not have everything collapse, we're just going to do interest rates uh, for quite some time, at least for three years. And then we'll take a look at it later. Now, I don't know what's going to happen uh, in the in the future, no one has a crystal ball, but I can give you an educated guess. With the presidential election coming up, I do see a uh, dip coming, especially with uncertainty about who is going to take the office. I think if it is uh, Donald Trump, if he does win, you'll see a little bit of a pump, but the market overall will just start to take either a moderate or a massive dip. And I'm, I'm talking about the traditional market because when you take a look, I don't know what city you're in, but if you take a look around, have you seen small businesses close? Do you have friends or maybe even yourself who says, boy, I really wish there was this uh, stimulus package that could come in because either I've gotten laid off or I'm not making as much as I used to. And just basic economic turmoil all over the place. I just don't see very positive things over the next uh, six months or so. I think it's going to be uh, quite a bumpy ride. I don't know what's going to happen with the cryptocurrency market, but for the stock market, I just don't see how that can be propped up for uh, any long length of time. Now remember, the economy is not the stock market and the stock market is not the economy, but you can only take a hit to the economy for so much. You can only print so much money and you can only lose so many businesses before everything gets affected. And I think that's going to happen in the near term. I think the best case scenario would be that we just trade sideways for a little bit. And that's what it talks about here. The report notes that correlation between Bitcoin and the dollar would uh, later increase as both markets experienced sideways consolidation. So hopefully that's our best case scenario. Looking forward, Kraken anticipates Bitcoin will post a stronger performance in October than in September, which would be nice. The report predicts October will drive an 11% gain, suggesting Bitcoin will close the month at 11,850. So if it does, fantastic. And if it doesn't, well, another buying opportunity for us until the big parabolic bull run hits which I certainly do believe it'll be in 2021, maybe towards the end, but um, I think it could definitely happen. And then to finish up, former hedge fund manager Raul, Raul Powell recently revealed he has shifted more than half of his personal investment portfolio into Bitcoin in anticipation of massive institutional adoption. Which you don't know Raul Powell, he's not just a hedge fund manager, he was also the uh, VP of operations in Europe for Goldman Sachs and uh, retired around in his early 30s. So uh, no slouch into what is going on into the um, uh, markets, especially in the global economy. So if he took uh, most of his positions and put it into half of Bitcoin, that's a uh, pretty good indicator. And then lastly, this is from actually Nuggets News. He states publicly traded companies and legendary investors are singing from the rooftops about this new asset class at a time when there's record money sitting in bank accounts looking to find a home. That's a great point, actually. And that's exactly how uh, MicroStrategy uh, and Square got in, more into Bitcoin is they said, hey, our uh, money's on fire. The um, inflation rate is 2% and it's probably going to go up because we've had those quantitative easing. So let's put it into something that is not easing, but is hardening. And that is Bitcoin, digital assets, cryptocurrency. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on.